The Dollar Tree has put out so much fall decor, new items that I didn't see last season. So I'm super excited to share with you in today's video some fall decor using some items from the Dollar Tree, but the theme is going to be pumpkin. Yes, I absolutely love pumpkins and I'm super excited to share with you these easy high-end DIYs. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. I'm going to get started on the first DIY. I was super excited to see these in the Dollar Tree because I didn't see them in my local Dollar Tree last season. So I'm going to share with you what I have created. So what I'm doing is just removing the pumpkins. They are glued together pretty good so I'm going to um, separate all of these pumpkins and I'm also going to be removing the paper off of these I'm going to be using the larger three pumpkins in this first DIY and I'll be using the smaller pumpkins for my second DIY so what I'm doing now is just separating all three of these and I'm going to be removing the paper this is a process but I remove as much paper as I can and then I just take a damp sponge and just rub off the rest of the paper and the residue and it comes off really easy so I'm just going to continue getting all of the paper removed and those bows those raffia bows I'll be keeping those because I'll be reattaching them so now that the paper is removed I'm going to put those to the side and I'm going to get these painted I'm going to be using my cafe color chalk paint the sage color and also that pumpkin color and these are all from that Walmart brand um, Hello Hobby and I'm going to be painting the front and the back because with this first DIY you will be able to see the front and the back and I like my fin my products to be finished on the back because that gives it that high end look. So now I'm going in and painting the second color, um, the second pumpkin with the color sage and then the third pumpkin will be with the color pumpkin <laughs> and I will be letting this dry then at painting the other side. Once I get that complete, I have this wood sign here from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna use that cafe color chalk paint to paint this sign as well because this is what I'm gonna be using as a base for those pumpkins. In today's video, I'm super excited because I'm also teaming up with my friend May from Craft Away with May to bring you some pumpkin decor inspiration. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that, but I want to let you know that I am using this um, file. I just got this file from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be fouling all three pumpkins and I'm going to be fouling that base. So about the collaboration, me and my friend May has teamed up to bring you some pumpkin decor. May is so talented. I absolutely adore her and her channel and you will too. So make sure that after watching this video, you check the description box below so that you can go and check out and see what my sweet friend May has created. As you can see now, I am attaching my pumpkins now to the base and I'm using hot glue. These pumpkins are, um, they're pretty sturdy so the base is wide enough and I feel like with the other two pumpkins on the side it gives it stability and it hold up really good but you can also put some jingle box um, the little tumbling blocks you can put those behind if you want extra security and as you can see I'm just making sure I'm sort of layering those pumpkins and just having them um, touch each other to give each pumpkin some stability and now I have these two picks here I got these from Walmart when I did my floral Walmart haul and these were only 97 cent and I thought these were so pretty I'm pulling off these um, pieces separate so that I can add them separate I just thought these are beautiful for the fall and it's also bringing in that high-end look that I am going for. So what I'm going to do is these two pieces here are going to go on each end. I'm just making sure that my stems does not uh, show on the back side. I want my back to be nice and finished and so I'm just making sure that everything is in the front and I'm going to take the other piece from the other pick glue it on the other side and then now these are two floral pieces I'm just going to attach them on each end and then I'm going to take that larger bud and I'm going to end up attaching that one in the center as you can see the form I'm going with and then I'm just going to put this one right in the center I'm going to grab those raffia bows that I poured off 
and I'm going to place those right back on the pumpkins at the top and that is going to be it for this DIY I think this came out so beautiful budget friendly and easy to do If you're visiting from my sweet friend May channel, hello, welcome, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. And also as a reminder, don't forget, check that description box below so you can check out my sweet friend May. Now for the next DIY, these are the, the smaller pumpkins that were attached to the larger pumpkins. And I'm just gonna get these painted. I'm going in with the sage color. I'm also gonna be using a French linen color here for one of the pumpkins and then the third pumpkin I'll just use that pumpkin color and I'm just going to give these two coats I am going to be um, painting these front and back as well I didn't really need to paint the other side because they're not going to be seen at all so not sure why I did that so now I have this rub on transfer sticker I absolutely love these stickers um, from the Dollar Tree they're real easy to rub on this one says grateful thankful blessed and it had a little image but I am separating them because I'm going to add the words separate I'm going to add one word to each pumpkin and all you have to do is peel off the plastic and uh, place your word right over your um, surface and just rub on over it to transfer your image so I'm just using my Cricut tool to make sure I rub over all of my letters so that everything can transfer neatly and then you just pull up the plastic and I'm going to do that to all three of the pumpkins so I am putting thankful in the middle but I'm also going to use that the little pumpkin and a little garland piece to add it to this pumpkin as well because it's the lighter pumpkin and so I just wanted to bring in a little bit color on this one so once I get that transferred over and get blessed transferred over I am now going to add the little pumpkin and the little garland up to this one this DIY is so simple but I think this one came out really high end as well and I think it's going to look really cute styled in my home for the fall season now you can my podge over these but i'm going to leave mine as is now the dollar tree been putting out these trio of signs with the jute hanger and they come in two different colors but i grabbed this lighter color because i thought this would look really pretty all i'm going to be doing is adding these pumpkins to each one of those signs these pumpkins were sturdy enough to make this project look a little bit more high end but the dollar tree do sell a pack of the smaller um the thin wood pumpkins that you can use for this project these pumpkins here just elevated it a little more because they are um, a little bit more sturdier this was simple but i absolutely love how this one turned out i'm super excited to see what may have created i cannot wait to see her video because i'm sure she knocked it out the park like always Moving along to my next DIY, I have this two pack of planners here. The Dollar Tree always have those. And then I just took, picked up two different size pumpkins. And I'm just going to open up my planters and I am going to be removing the tags and the stems from those pumpkins. These two DIYs are really simple, but I love how they turn out. So once I get the tag and the stems removed, I am going to be hot gluing these right on top of the planter. Now this is foam, so once I have my hot glue, I am going to hold this really tight because once it connects, it connects and dries. It just have to take a little time, but it does dry. You just have to connect it, hold it, and let it melt into your other piece. This one's going to be a little bit more easier because it kind of sits in the pot a little bit. So I'm adding the glue around and I'm just going to push this right down in there until it's secure as well. Now with these pieces, I am going to paint them the same color as the pot. I'm just going to paint the whole um, piece at once. I'm just adding some extra glue for a little bit more security. And then I'm going to use this French linen um, paint to paint the larger pumpkin. I'm really liking this color for the fall. It's not white, it's not gray. It's just a really pretty color to merge other, 
other colors in with the smaller pumpkin combination I'm going to be using the sage color to paint that piece as well now once I get these two painted I am going to embellish them a little bit the first thing I'm going to do is take these stems here from the Dollar Tree and just replace the stems that came with these pumpkins with these little wood stems and I'm just going to find the sizes that I need and I'm just going to forcefully push them down in the foam I'm going to be adding some hot glue to secure them in there the other pumpkin I'm looking for a little larger stem in the bag and then I'm just going to place that right inside the foam as well push it down and add a little extra glue once I get that complete I'm just going to gather some stems from the Dollar Tree that I had and pull off pieces to embellish around the pumpkin and I'm embellishing around where I hot glue them together just to have more of a cohesive look to it and then I cut off a leaf to add right at the top and I'm going to push it down in to the stem now for this one I'm going to take some of that buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree and just hot glue it around the rim of that pot just bringing in a little bit more character I thought that would be really cute but any ribbon will look fine or you can just leave it as is but I think it also look cute with a jute um, a jute bow so after I get that one with the larger pumpkin I'm going to do the same thing embellish it with a few of these uh, florals and this pick here I did get this pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut these buds off separate and do the same thing just hot glue them around where the pumpkin and the little pot meets and I'm just going to go in with different little pieces just hot gluing it around I think these turned out so cute and you can just do so much with these pumpkins you could even transfer some words on the pot and that would be cute as well i wanted to keep these really simple so that they can blend in with some other decor and not be you know all over the place i guess so i'm just going to continue adding little pieces here and there all the way around until i feel like it's enough i don't want to do too much but i want to make sure that i can see a lot of different florals and then I'm going to add this the leaf at the top by the stem I am going to be adding another leaf on the other side and then I took some of that um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree and created a little simple bow that I'm going to attach right next to the stem and that is going to be it for this one I think these are super adorable This next DIY is very simple but very cute. I have these two little tea counter holders from the Dollar Tree and all I'm going to do is attach these together. So I'm going to use some hot glue for that. I'm just going to stack them right on top of each other, adding some glue to make sure that everything is secure. Once that is complete, I'm just going to paint this entire piece. I am going to be using some of that sage color to paint this. I thought this was absolutely adorable to have these pumpkins stacked. And you can actually use your um, tea candle or you can use an LED candle. You can actually add a little small cute pumpkin at the stop top and this will be cute as well. So once I get it painted with this color, I am going to go over it using some of that cafe color. Just doing a heavy distress. Once I get that complete, what I'm going to do is just pull these, pull one leaf off of this pick here. This pick come from Walmart. I think it was last year, but I'm just going to take this leaf and I'm going to cut it in half because I'm going to attach um, a piece on each side and I'm just going to use some hot glue for that. So once I get it cut in half, I'm just going to add some glue where they were attached together and then I place the little leaf right in there and then I'm going to also do the same thing on the other side add the glue 
and then place the leaf and I'm just going to add one of my LED candle tea candles from the Dollar Tree and I think this is absolutely adorable I am going to recreate another one just using a different color scheme thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did if so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here as always in the comment section below let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite and remember today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend May from craft away with May so after watching this video Head over and check out and see what my sweet friend May came up with. And don't forget to tell her that Jenny said hello. And once again, come if you're coming over from her channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by.